It is a very good thing you have come when you did. We are shipping it to New York first thing tomorrow. When did you say that your exhibition was taking place? Uh, early fall, but uh, I was hoping we can get our hands on it a little bit sooner. I'm afraid that won't be possible. The New York dates are firm. Also, the exhibit has been arranged by a former student of mine. I'm sure you understand. Of course. My boss, he's another story. He's had his eyes on this piece for quite some time. Here it is, worn by Attila himself. Isn't that the sword engraved on the plate? Exactly. The Sword of Mars. The Sword of Mars. Yes. He who holds the sword shall be invincible on the field of battle. That is the legend. <laughs> Mind you, it didn't save Attila. He was murdered by his wife on his wedding night. But that wasn't on the field of battle. <laughs> Depends on your definition of marriage, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, Radu, sooner would be better for me. Open the case. Open it. Plate of Attila the Hun won't be just part of the exhibit, it will be the exhibit. Samantha, if I could jump on a plane right now and bring it to you myself, I would. But I can't even get Radu on the phone. I, I don't understand. He knows how important this is. And that piece is the star of the show. Sam, listen, even without it, you put together one of the best exhibitions I've seen in years anywhere. I would argue that the show star is you. Oh, Radu, you're good. Very good. Dr. Gaines? Hold on one second. Um, call me back when you get some good news, okay? Of course I will. Have you made a decision on where you want the uh, case with the breastplate? Hello? Hey, Sam, it's me. Zach, can I call you back? I'm really busy right now. Where are you? Right behind you. Can you tell this guy that I'm your brother? <laughs> He's okay. I told you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, we live in the same city. Can't see my favorite sis. I'm your only sis. That's a minor detail. <laughs> so this looks like you're working hard. And you look great. Thank you. But you look like you haven't eaten in a week. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm great. Liar. <sighs> what kind of trouble are you in? Define trouble. How much do you need this time? $2,000 will cover me. And listen, that's less than I asked for last time, so this has got to be worth something, right? Well, it isn't, Zach, because I never know whether you're telling the truth or lying or just taking advantage of me. I mean... Uh, Dr. Gaines? I, I don't have time for this. I have a show going up in two days. Listen to me, sis. I need your help on this one, okay? Because these guys that I'm dealing with are old school. 
okay? They don't get their money. They tend to favor pain as an incident. I can't believe this. And I need a place to stay for a couple of days, because they know where I live. I'm assuming you still have my key? I'll be home in a few hours. We'll talk then, okay? Thank you. Roger, did it get on the plane okay? No, Sam, it didn't. Why not? Well, there was a robbery, Samantha. The breastplate has been stolen, and it gets worse. Red was killed. Doc, you doing all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I should probably get home and get some sleep. I will. Good night. See you tomorrow. Excuse me. Oh, um, uh, Miss Gaines? Yes. My name is Jake Adams. I'm with the State Department. Do you have a few minutes? That's all I really know. I mean, I'm still hoping that I'm gonna wake up in a minute and somebody's gonna tell me that none of this actually ever happened. Well, I wish I could say that, but it did. The breastplate, it's very valuable, obviously. Priceless. But you couldn't sell it. So why, in your opinion, would somebody be willing to kill for it? I'm not sure how to answer that exactly. Why? Well, because the answer goes beyond the realm of history into the realm of legend. Try me. Like the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant, the breastplate of Attila the Hun has been sought after for centuries because of the secret that it's said to hold. Which is? There are inscriptions on it that could lead you to the final resting place of the Sword of Mars. The god of war. Looks like he is the god of war. Attila was one of the most ruthless conquerors the world's ever known. And it was whispered among his people that Attila had struck a bargain with the devil who sent the guardian Cerberus to watch over him. The Huns were barbaric warriors that were capable of unspeakable atrocities. Attila knew that to win their absolute loyalty, he'd have to become, in effect, a god himself, or the next best thing. So he dug up a rusty old sword and proclaimed it the Sword of Thorns. It worked. The Huns believed that because Attila had acquired the sword of a god, it gave him the power to rule the world. And as the legend grew, so did the belief that Attila's bargain with the devil had anointed the sword with the powers of invincibility to man. When Attila died, he and his sword were returned to hell, where it is guarded by Cerberus, a huge three-headed dog with a serpent for a tail. There are numerous tales of attempts to retrieve the sword. Unsuspecting tomb raiders finding the last resting place of Attila came face to face with the hellish guardian who kept watch over the sword of power. legend worth its salt should be. So whoever stole the breastplate is trying to find the sword? That would be my guess. 
That or a three-headed dog. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Professor. Gaines. Who is this? We have your brother. If you want to see him alive again, you'll do as we say. You're being watched. Notify the authorities. He will die. Ignore our instructions. He will die. Ask too many questions. He will die. Do you understand? Yes, just please, please just don't hurt him. I, I can get your money as soon as... The car is waiting outside. Pack a small overnight bag and bring your passport. Do you understand? Yes. Do as you're told. Excellent news. I expect to deliver the same to you shortly. Mr. Carter, welcome. I was actually awaiting your arrival. Did you bring my package? Oh, yeah. You didn't damage it, did you? Oh, not too badly. Care for a drink? Nope. Don't drink on the job. Clearly, your job is done. Not until I get paid, it ain't. <laughs> you worry too much. Keeps me alive. Please, Max, help yourself. Thank you. And his sister? The plane should be in about an hour. No. I should get on the road. A little change in plans, Max. Dorsey's gonna pick the sister up. An enterprise like this cannot accept failure from any individual participating in it. What's he talking about? Mr. Cutter's informed me that the entire mission was jeopardized due to a stupid mistake committed by you. We got the breastplate, right? You made a rash decision to kill a man whose knowledge was vital to our mission. What about the girl? Huh? She knows everything he knows, right? Bringing Miss Gain from New York was an unnecessary risk. We all take risks. That's the part of the game. <laughs> Yes, yes. Even the great Tatilla knew this. He himself said, every decision involves risk. But he could not accept failure from his subordinates. Neither can I. <laughs> Look, the important thing is, we got what we came in for, right? <laughs> Do you know that Dobermans can reach speeds close to 35 miles an hour and maintain that speed for more than a mile? On the other hand, a human can reach speeds close to 20 miles an hour and not last for long. That's crazy, Carter. Come on. 
the heat. Sorry, Max. Can't help you out. It's not my call. I'm Max. Samantha Gates, please get in. I'll take that. Was okay. Hope you didn't eat the food. Where's Zach? He's in good hands. How do I doubt that? Where are we going? Want my advice? Sit back. Enjoy the scenery. It's a nice country if you get used to it. I don't need to get used to it. I spent four years here. I just want to get my brother back and go home. If you play it right, that's exactly how it will happen.
in this case. We're here to help. You? What are you doing here? Oh, man, this lady does not need any help. Look at this. I'll explain later. We need to move out. Move out? What does that mean? We got away. That's all right. We have her. Who has me? Will somebody please explain what the hell is going on here? We got to move, Jake. It's about to get a lot hotter around here. I am not moving anywhere. Please, Miss Gaines. We're going to get your brother back. But you need to come with us. Please. at the rendezvous point in an hour. And make sure it's a good car. All right, I did what you asked. What's going on? Like I said, Miss Gaines, we're here to help get your brother back safely. What, by shooting at the people who have him? We couldn't allow them to take you. We? Who's we? I mean, obviously you don't work for the State Department. Your name probably isn't Jake, either. It is, actually, and we're with the good guys. Isn't that all that really matters? To you. To me, what matters is getting my brother back. I wish it were that simple. I can't believe this is happening over $2,000. $2,000? Zach came to me with some gambling debt. Isn't that... This isn't about a gambling debt, is it? Got that right. Let's pick up where we left off, Miss Gaines. The breastplate of Attila the Hunt. The curator who was killed during the robbery. You studied under him, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Radu was the leading authority on the etchings on that breastplate. When he was killed, she became the next leading authority. Is that correct? Th this is about the Sword of Mars? That's exactly what this is about. Then who does have my brother? Name's Sun. Ex-North Korean general, real loose cannon. Made some enemies at the top, got himself exiled as a result. They took a large cadre of loyal officers with them. That makes him a major threat. He's a major threat to my brother, that much I know. What other kind of threat are we talking about? I can't get into the specifics, but I can tell you he's deadly serious about what he'll do to Zack. Over a sword? What's he gonna do, put it over his mantle? I mean, he can't sell the damn thing. Sung's obsessed with the occult, especially that sword. History's full of similar examples. I mean, Hitler, for instance, he consulted a psychic before he invaded Poland. Napoleon... He carried a lucky coin into every battle, I know. So my orders are not to let Sun get a hold of that sword. I know where they're coming from. Listen, I don't want to hear about the occult or superstition. This is my brother's life we're talking about. Now, there's a reason you want to get to that sword before Sung does, and you're not telling me what it is. And I want the truth, not some lame line about how you want to help me find my brother. That's highly classified. OK, fine. Thank you. At least I know the truth about you now. Yeah, you just got such a way with the women, man. I saw, bro. <laughs> Look, I'm concerned about the safety of your brother. But you're right, there are bigger issues here. Bigger than him, bigger than you, bigger than any of us. Your brother's not the only thing Sung has. What are you talking about? Twelve Soviet-era suitcase nukes, each one capable of wiping out an entire city. And it's making the people I work for very uneasy. The Sung has them? Yeah. This is crazy. No, this is unfortunate. Sung is crazy. Look, call it whatever you want. Call it a, a cult talisman charm. The last thing any of us needs right now is this man thinking it's his lucky day, because God help us all if that happens. Look, Miss Gaines, I don't want to be in this mess any more than you do. Now, we're going to try and get your brother back. But in order to ensure his safety and the safety of millions of other people, we need to get to that sword first. How? Well, we don't even have the breastplate. Well, we do have something. We obtained these from the Romanian Ministry of Antiquities. By obtain, he more means stole. We enhanced them as much as we could. I know they're not very good. No, no, no. They'll do. Does this mean you'll help us? Sorry about your nose. Yeah, it's OK. I was too pretty anyway. At least now I got some character. <laughs> Isn't that Willis?
All right, I don't want to hear it, okay? You'd have been better off in a horse and carriage, Willis. What, you couldn't find any other color than blue? Look, you guys don't like it, next time you guys steal the car and I get to babysit the girl. <laughs> so what's up? Well, it looks like our guest is on board. So where to, Miss Gaines? Revenge, Mr. Cutter, will soon be mine. Your great American empire is crumbling. Just like the Roman Empire. Defeated by an enemy technologically inferior, but untroubled by the fear of death. And like Rome, burned at the hands of the barbarians. So were the cities of your country. It's not my country anymore. No patriotism? No national pride? I pity you, Mr. Cutter. You can pity me all you want, as long as I get paid at the end of the day. <laughs> About time. <clears throat> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. Because I painted her when I picked her up. Inside left pocket. Inside left pocket. There is something else. What? It was Adams. You sure? Yeah. All right, we move out of 10. Beginning to lose faith with your ability to perform this mission, Mr. Cutter. Don't worry, I'm gonna get your sword for you. Pray you do. Hands and his feet. And we'll feed him the son's dobies. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you better hope your sister's damn good at what she does. Load him in. What about cutting off his hands and feet and feed him to the dogs? It's a joke, moron. Load him. Giant is a nickname that the Huns had for the group of mountains we're heading into. Bacchus is a god of wine, but... Who's Cerberus? Didn't any of you take mythology in seventh grade? Willis never got past the seventh grade. Uh... <laughs> well, Cerberus is... Cerberus a... is a three-headed dog guarded Hades. Also guards over the swords. See, I was listening. Also prevents the living from entering the realm of the dead. I don't need no dog to tell me to stay out of there, one-headed, three-headed, whatever. Well, if this is a sleeping giant, then there's only one village remotely close to this description. Right here, Stajiru. Stajiru is an archaic Romanian word almost never used then. What's it mean? There's no precise translation. Guardian, protector, something like that. How did you learn all this stuff? My teacher, Radu, was the first to decipher the language. I studied under him for four years. I bet you were the teacher's pet. He was a good teacher and a friend. I miss him. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean any offense. Uh, why don't you quit while you're ahead, Willis? <laughs> no, don't mind him, lady. He may not be good with words. He can shoot a flea off a rat's ass at a thousand meters. Well, I guess everybody has one special talent. You must be the Shakespeare of the group. No, I just like to blow things up. So what do you think, Miss Gaines? We in the right ballpark? Could you stop calling me that? Makes me sound like a school librarian. All right, Professor. Well, this should be it. I mean, according to this, from the house that Bacchus rules, the cursed Cerberus keeps vigil over our Sisyphus. Hey. There goes your three-headed dog. Of course. The house of the god of wine, a pub. Well, you must be watching over. Hey, look at that. There 
There it is. Arsis Abyssus. Al Citadel. Sounds warm and cozy. Looks old, but not that old. It's a Magyar fortress. 13th, 14th century, I'd say. Built on the ruins of a Roman fort. Any idea on how we get in? Knock? <laughs> okay, I don't think anybody's home. Well, except Attila, and he ain't getting up. <laughs> Hell itself awaits he who dares attempt the ramparts. Arsis Abyssus. Okay, and that means what exactly? I think that means we climb. All right, Miss Gaines, if for any reason you need to stop, just drop your weight in the harness, okay? Keep your hands on the rope at all times. Don't worry. You'll be fine. All right. Okay? Okay. Just like Jake did. Uh-huh. That's it. You're doing great, Miss Gaines. We climb the ramparts. So I guess this leads to hell itself. on the roof. Okay. Yeah, like until the freaking Hun's gonna be better than roof, bro. He might be. <laughs> this way's as good as any. Let's go. Start watching. <gasps> Booby traps. Drake! Ah. Hold on, hold on. Ah. Son of a. Want to add these to your collection? You okay? Yeah, I don't think I'm playing too deep. Can I see those? Yeah. The Huns sometimes impregnated their war arrows with poisons. Great. Uh, don't sweat it too much, Jacob. I doubt any poison is going to be good after a few hundred years. Well, is there? Depends on what kind of base they used. Yeah, well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. No sense worrying about it. Hey! Look at this. That was right. studying the myth and the legend behind that sword. I can't believe we're here. It might not even be there. It may all just be a legend. I know, I thought about that too, but then I stopped because, well, where does that leave Zack? Don't worry, we'll get him back. How's your shoulder? It's... My arm's gone all numb. Really? And my eyesight, my eyesight's gone all blurry. Jake, are you all right? 
Gotcha. You know, I'll tell you after all this digging, you better find this sword. Now somebody's gonna have hell to pay. You know, I could really use a sword like that. Invincibility in battle could go really well in our line of work. Yeah. Well, you need all the help you can get, Mer. Ha, ha, ha. Willis. <laughs> <laughs> How long you guys been together? Fifteen years. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> After all these years, you picked this guy to bought me a watch or something. For what? You can't even tell the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't need a watch to know it's time for you to dig, brother. about the bigger. What do you got, buddy? Get the harnesses out. We're going to have to repel. Can I ask you a question, Jake? Why is it I always have to be the safety? Because you're damn good at it, Willis. Liar. <laughs> All right, go out where you need anything. All right. Where's the professor? I'm over here. We in the right place? Oh, yeah. We're in the right place. This is the antechamber. A burial chamber is through one of those doors. Oh! Those are pressure plates. You don't have to tell me twice. Well, the sacred animals of the Huns. The serpent, the hawk, the boar, the bear, and the dragon. Five animals, three doors. Two of them are traps. I guess that means don't pick the wrong door. Something tells me it won't be a new car behind it. <laughs> he who has the courage to stand between the dragon and the bear shall gain entrance to the tomb of the great Khan. Or in this case, she who has the courage. This case! Didn't I tell you to stop calling me that?
believe it. The tomb of a toe of a hun. How come Willis is never around when there's work to be done? Willis. Long time no see. How the hell did you find us? I always knew you weren't the sharpest tool in the shed. You sure picked the wrong team this time. Death comes on wings to he who enters the tomb of a pharaoh. What? A curse inscribed on King Tut's tomb. When Lord Carnivan paid Carter to unseal the tomb in 1922, he didn't think much of that legend either. A year later, Carnivan was dead from a mosquito bite. Maybe it was a killer mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> you know, laugh all you want, but there are things in this world that we know, and there are things in this world we only think we know. One thing I know, you guys are screwed. <laughs> Easy there, Jakey. Let's drop those weapons on the deck. There you go. Collect the weapons, Dorsey. Back off. So, you must be Samantha. So nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. By the way, good job. Jake, old buddy, not such a great job. What, did they let you out on good behavior cutter so you could sell out your own country? America ain't what it used to be. Besides, I'm making enough money on this job to buy my own country. Whew, look at that. Strong blade, minimal rust. After all these years, surprisingly sharp. You got what you wanted. Now give me back my brother. Deal's a deal. And you did help me find the sword. Unfortunately, Jake, we didn't make the same deal. God, I love that sound. Well, gotta go. Payday. Oh, hey, Jake. Isn't it funny how things come around full circle? Yeah, it's a real riot. Solitary was a bitch. But at least you're gonna have some company. Anyway, four people in a room this size, I figure you got about 10 hours worth of oxygen. So every person you kill, Jake, you double your lifespan. Whew. Decisions, decisions. Don't you die on this place. Don't you die on me, man. All right, Nipstrom. Blow this dump. Come on, buddy. We're gonna get you out of here. Might want to cover your ears.
Are you coming, Cutter? Yeah, I'm coming. Hey, shine that light over here, will you? What's up, Professor? What are you looking for? The Huns would never make just one entrance to a burial chamber. There's got to be another passageway that leads to the surface. With all due respect, this one I know leads to the surface. Then we should concentrate on it. What in God's name is down there? Wasn't in God's name, that's for damn sure. I unloaded into it and didn't even leave a scratch. What the hell was that? Who knows, man? Let's just get the hell out of here. <sighs> hey, I got an opening. Never made those sounds. It ain't out here now.
guy's got a serious case of halitosis. It's probably been a few thousand years since he's brushed his damn teeth. <laughs> about anything at this point. <laughs> Next time, can, can we do things my way instead of the old-fashioned way? Yeah. Gets my vote. What is this, a democracy? It's a dictatorship, sir, of a three-headed, mean-ass, bad-breathed dog. Now, unless you got a better idea, I say we take her advice. All right. As long as we're down here, once we get back up topside, you're stuck with me again. Sung? Yep. Tell him we got the sword. Mr. Cutter. Mr. Sung. How good of you to check in. Well, I'm just that kind of guy. Do you have the sword? Yeah, I got the sword. But uh, we should talk about renegotiating my compensation package. Now we can double it. We can start from there. We had a deal, Mr. Cutter. Well, the deal's changed. Now you answer to me. So listen up. There's a little village in the mountains. It's called. What the hell's the name of it? Strajeru. Strajeru. Okay? You want that sword? You meet me there. Have you lost your mind? No. Nope. Actually, I'm seeing clearer now than I've ever seen before. Hey! You guys hearing that? What is that? Is there any way that thing could have gotten in front of us? These passageways are interconnected. Oh, that's great. That's gonna make it feel a whole lot better when it's eaten. Uh. It's getting louder. Wish I had my damn gun. Well, this is all we got. This is good enough. Guns won't do us any good. Cerberus isn't from this world. The only thing that can kill him is the sword. Legend states that... Enough with the damn legend, Professor. Until I see it with my own eyes, that thing's as alive as you and me, and it can be killed. Jake, I'm not the enemy here, okay? I'm just telling you what I know. Okay, thank you. Duly noted! Bats! Get down! Oh. Everyone all right? Freaking bat! That's all it was. Shit. I'm sorry about the bunny. It's okay, Zack. It's my fault that you're here. We're even. Let's get the hell out of here. Bus? Probably. Yeah, this sorry ass little man. said we're closed and I said my friends and I have come for a friendly drink <laughs> by God we're gonna have one 
Where did you get that sword? Gift shop in Transylvania. <laughs> that sword is from no gift shop. Well, I say it is. My friend here's got the receipt to prove it. Show him. <coughs> Any more questions? You have been to the Citadel? Yes. And what a wonderful spot that is. You have to return the sword at once. Well, I'll take that under advisement. You don't understand. <coughs> no, you don't understand, old man. Now, why don't you just back off, huh? While I'm still in a good mood. You have desecrated the tomb of Attila. Your greed will unleash hell upon the world. <laughs> well, fine. But not before I have a cold one. You fool. You will kill us all. Was it something I said? Hey, sweetheart. Hey, hey. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you. Come here. You didn't serve us yet. Je vous peux servir, Domino. Translate that for me into English. Oh, is this cave ever gonna end, man? It has to. It has to. Nothing has to happen. Before tonight, I tell you, three hundred dogs weren't possible. That happened. Yeah, well, there's not a hell of a lot we can do about that right now. So you're gonna have to deal with it. Deal with it? How exactly are you gonna deal with it? You can't kill it, and you can't hurt it. Why don't you explain to me how you're gonna deal with it? We're gonna get out of here, okay? Your sister's right. Yeah, of course she's right. It's my sister, the genius. Zach. Just, just shut up and listen to me for a second. I'll tell you how I know your sister's right. Those bats that buzzed our head back there, they haven't been sitting in here for a thousand years. They come and go every night. And we're gonna figure out how and where. Sorry. Sorry I flipped out, okay? Sorry I had a moment. Okay, everyone, I'm okay now. Is that my imagination? Or did that just sound 10 times closer than the last one? That's not your imagination. Let's get out of here, Berg. Let's go. How are you gonna do that? You got no timers. No plungers either. We're gonna have to give this one the personal touch. Burke. They'll catch up to you. Jake, come on, get out of here.
an even uglier son of a bitch than I thought you were. Eat this, Fido. What was that about back there? The solitary karma? Ancient history. Happens to be my specialty. I served under Cutter. Back in the day, special ops. We were supposed to clear a, a village just outside of Fallujah. All of a sudden, this kid comes up on his bike. Cute kid. Couldn't have been no more than 11. Maybe it was the war. Maybe it was the hate. Maybe it was just Cutter's faulty wiring. But for no reason at all, he just opens up on this kid. He cut him in half before he even knew what Next thing we knew, we were taking, uh, we were taking fire from every direction. The airstrike was called in. Bye-bye, village. Army didn't inquiry. I told the truth about what Cutter did. He was court-martialed. Did hard time at Leavenworth. Was dishonorably discharged. Like I said, that's ancient history. Well, we found a way into this place. Let's find a way out. We could just forget the money and make a run for it. You think I went through all that just to walk away empty-handed? Forget it. I say, we take the sword and sell it to Sung ourselves. What's with the two of you? Looks like somebody ran over with your lunch money. Look. We want to get paid, then we're out of here. Excuse me? We want to cut right now. Out of the cash Sung already gave you. Reinhold's right. There's no, no need to get cute now. We have the sword. The sooner we get the money, the sooner I'm having a drink on a beach at Bora Bora. The only reason either one of you have anything is because of me. Without me, 
you'd be delivering mail for eight bucks an hour. Now, the deal changes when I say the deal changes. Are we clear? Easy. We all risked our lives, and we all want our pay. Don't show it if you ain't willing to use it. <laughs> Don't tempt me. We just want what's ours. you got coming in. The one thing I will not tolerate in a man is disloyalty. Cowardice runs a close second. Hey, Bora Bora. So much for your question about Cutter. So much for our calm gear, damn it. Do you think he already got to him? I hope not. All I can do is try and get to him before he does. We'll go back through that village we came through. Once we get there, you and Zach should be able to find some help to get home. Look, Jake, we'd be dead right now if it weren't for you, Burke, and Willis. We owe it to you and to them. Samantha, all you can do for them right now is send them your prayers. No way. You need us. Hey, I, Samantha, I think we should listen to the guy in this, okay? Listen to your brother, Samantha. I get paid to risk my life, not yours. Listen, Jake, I'm partially responsible for letting that sword get out, and I'll be damned if I'm not part of getting it back. If you think you're gonna get that sword from Cutter and, and take on Cerberus all on your own, then you've got another thing coming, as my dad used to say. Dad never used to say that. Shut up. I'm not getting rid of you, am I? No. What about you? She's my sister. I'm in. Let's go. Noi mereți să ne ocupăm de americani. Voi știți ce aveți de făcut. Hai, mereți să-ți trați la arma. Hai, mă! There was a phrase on the breastplate. So long as the sword is removed from its final resting place, the beast will wreak havoc on the land. Well, this, this is certainly happening. It's got to have a weakness. Think hard, Professor. Are you absolutely sure there's nothing else that we can use to fight this thing? At this point, I'm, I'm not sure of anything. I mean, all I know of Cerberus is, is what I've read in books. 
Was anybody ever beaten him in the books? But, well, there, there was Heracles who, who defeated Cerberus using his bare hands, but he was the son of a god. Next option. This Orpheus, of course. Of course. Who the hell's Orpheus? He put Cerberus to sleep using a wire. Now all we have to do is find a liar. Why are you looking at me? It's a musical instrument, an, an ancient one. Anything else? It's a warning. If Cerberus gets to that village, he'll tear it apart. If he hasn't already. Run away from me. Come on, I'm ready to have another go at it. You like to play rough, don't you? Yeah. Release the gun. Or what? You'll shoot? I know the routine. Then I say, hey, drop the guns or I'll shoot the girl. That's the way it usually goes. Release her, and you can go. But the sword stays here. <laughs> Have you not been paying attention to anything that's happened here tonight? Look, I'm not kidding. Let her go. Go home and play with your dolls. Go. Sword. It is not a tiller sword. It is mine. That's where we got a problem. I like the sword. Actually, I like it a lot. And I intend to keep it. Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Cutter. You work for me. Now, give me the sword. Once again, I beg to differ. Now you work for me. I've been thinking too small. I mean, why should I be happy taking millions from you when I could take billions from entire nations? And once I control your nukes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, of course, I don't wanna do this all alone. You and I would be partners. Just like Attila and his brother, what's his name? Bleda, who Attila killed later to soon sole control of the kingdom. Wow. Why quibble over such things? Yes, like your cohort here? Did you quibble with him? Well, let's just say... he didn't see things my way. I have no interest of a partnership in whatsoever. All I care about is the sword which I paid you good money for. I have the balance of your fee here. Now, give me the sword. As they say in my former country, possession is nine-tenths of the law, if you know what I mean. So, I guess we've come to an impasse, to put it politely. Manners are for fools. <laughs>
No, this is Cutter. Who's this? Cutter. This is Colonel Kwan. Colonel Kwan. Listen up. The operation will continue as planned, only there's been a little change. Mr. Sung will no longer be calling the shots. Let's just say he doesn't have the head for it. I see. From now on, you're gonna be answering to me. So stand by. I'll be in touch. But... Wow. <laughs> Play again, little girl. said yourself, Samantha, the only way to take down that beast is to use the sword. That means I have to get the sword from Cutter. As long as Cutter has that sword, he's invincible. Thanks for the pep talk, Professor. You guys stay hidden until I get back, okay? Got his attention. What if he's Zach? Music. No, Zach, what if it wasn't a magical hire at all? What if it was just music? Blah 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 music. That's all I just heard, sis. You lose again, Jake. I got the sword, and I got control of the noose. <laughs>
Sorry, Jake. Time's up. Talk about going to hell in a handbasket. Oh, watch my butt. Oh, thank God you're all right. Throwing rocks at Serbia came back to bite me on the ass. Hey, can we leave? I hate this place. Yeah. You're preaching to the choir. Come on. Oh. Hey, Sam. Uh -huh. Back there in the cave. Are you serious about that money? That's being even? Yeah. But if you ever come to me with a gambling debt again, you're gonna wish you had a three-headed dog after you instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> 